morning, Hornets. It's a wonderful Monday here at VCHS. We're your hosts. I'm Jeff Stockwell. And I'm Ryder Tucker. Let's start off with today's lunch. Today you will be enjoying mac and cheese with Little Smokies, fresh broccoli and carrots, breadsticks, peaches, and milk. And whether you're adding it to your lunch or just trying to stay hydrated, Gatorade flavors are a hot take. Let's see which flavors you prefer in today's this or that. Hi, my name's Brock, and blue Gatorade is way better. I'm Natraya Williams, and I think a red Gatorade is better. Hi, my name's Ellie Hunter, and I prefer blue Gatorade. I'm Scarlett, and I prefer blue Gatorade. It's Reese Ramsey, and I think blue Gatorade is better. My name is Cameron Clone, and I would choose red Gatorade. Now let's jump into day celebrations with these holidays. And now a rundown of your top five news stories. It's, it's Quinn and Jasmine, Jasmine in the morning with, with your top, top five news stories. stories. Number one, man sues Powerball for not honoring incorrect winning numbers on website. Number two, Walmart acquires Vizio TV brand for $2.3 billion. Number three, Starbucks releases Lunar New Year's inspired pork flavored drink in China. Number four, Kansas fishermen with state record crop eye discovered to be filled with fishing weights with x-ray. Number five, U.S. casinos won $66.5 billion in 2023. Next, here's today's word and quote of the day. This week's word of the week is nuance. A subtle difference in or shade of meaning, expression, or sound. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will live as one. John Lennon. It's Monday, and you know what that means. Morning game. Today you can take your bets on who will win rock, paper, and scissors. It's time to look at this week's Duco Corner. Here is your VCHS Week at a Glance from February 26th to March 3rd. On Monday, there's a Swim Awards Banquet starting at 6 p.m. and the Dance Team Informational Parent Meeting starting at 6.30 p.m. On Tuesday, there's Boys Basketball Substate in the ACT for Juniors. On Wednesday, there's Girls Basketball Substate and the NHS Induction Ceremony starts at 6 p.m. Nothing going on on Thursday, no school on Friday, as it's the end of the third nine weeks. On Saturday, there's spring sports pictures and boys and girls basketball sub-state finals. After a fairly nice weekend, we're looking good till Wednesday. Let's take a look at, to at today's temperatures. Hello, my name is Abby, and the weather for today is the high is 76 and the low is 56. Now for a quick blast to the past. Let's wrap it up with this day in history. Stay classy, VC. February 26th, 1993. In New York, a bomb built by Islamic extremists explodes in the parking garage of the World Trade Center. The blast kills six people and injures more than a thousand others. More than eight years later, the Twin Towers fall in the September 11th terrorist attacks. 1987. The Tower Commission rebukes then-President Ronald Reagan in its report on the Iran-Contra affair. It concludes Reagan failed to control his national security staff in the Arms for Hostages scandal. 1815, Napoleon Bonaparte escapes from exile on the Isle of Elba to begin his second conquest of France. His return to power lasts just months until he's forced to step down after losing the Battle of And 1932. I fell into 
to a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. Singer-songwriter Johnny Cash, country music's Man in Black, is born in Kingsland, Arkansas. Today in History, February 26th, Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.